Hey guys, it's Venus and today I wanted to show you a really really cool hotel. It's called Book and Bed Tokyo and they have several chains. And um, basically it's a capsule hotel with a library. It's a capsule hotel inside a library. Yes, something like that. So first of all, there's this many books. Magazines, all the new. I don't even know half of these. Fudge, I know Fudge. Of course I know Nylon. Which I know about that one. Poupe. Of course I know Poupe. <laughs> There's so many interesting books you wouldn't think of buying in a bookstore. But when you're actually in here, it's just your curiosity spikes and um I just wanna get all of these ideas. I want you to be my wife. Why don't you become my family? Let's dance together at our wedding. We will get married. My love for you is eternal. Will you keep my heart forever? I can't live without you. Let's spend the rest of our lives together. Will you make me the happiest man alive? I want to grow all of it. You I'm crazy for you. My love for you is eternal. Will you give me your hand in marriage? You're my sunshine. Having you by your side is what completes me. Husband to me, please. This book is called Will You Marry Me? There's so much fun stuff to find, seriously. I wonder if the owner just put in all of the books he owned or if they got them just for this hotel because they seem pretty used or maybe they're used because a lot of people touched them already. I don't know, but the selection of the books is pretty good. There's English books and Japanese books the design of all is really really cool like look at this Whoa. it's like a staircase full of books you can sit on the staircase then go and have a look at all the books and magazines it's like really obscure things i wouldn't really find at any other place or bookstore so that is amazing as i love books i really love books i've been reading a lot since i was a child some popular manga from um, ages ago kimonomi tabotaka what did you eat yesterday it's like a super old manga from the 90s It's being starred on Netflix. It's such a great drama. If you're ever bored and don't know what to watch on Netflix, I recommend the Shizimakum. It's pretty fantastic. What's this? I can resist things with cats on. Haruki Murakami's essays and interviews. Shonen Kafka. I didn't even know this existed. They have some really rare items here. It's pretty amazing. They also pick books like with really great covers. And one, it just makes you wonder what's inside them. This one's really sparkly and says Mexico. I don't know. It just grabbed my eye. What does it say in there? It's pictures of Mexico. Mexican culture, I guess. That's pretty cool. Mexican culture, landscapes, people. Just really nice art and photography. It's like I'm in the library wonderland. the books is ta -da! your very own room it's really fun because you have your own hidden spot to sleep in a library isn't that awesome let's have a look inside 
Mine is kind of around with my back. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'll see you soon. <laughs> And I've been working on my computer. <laughs> yeah, so... That's kind of what I've been doing here. It's a lot like a capsule huddle, except that it's wooden. Um, a little bit more sophisticated. And definitely more quiet. Mm have a book mud so in the cabin of course there's no smoking allowed no drinking no shoes and no telephone so you can rent several things buy them there's coffee there's a bar sandwiches there's also rental pajamas rental towel basic necessities and yay wi-fi awesome i actually did uh, rent a pajama in which i'm gonna change right now so Changing into these pajamas inside this tiny cube where my hand reaches the wall was again a hassle, but it's comfy and this cabin is comfy, so it's totally worth it. All right, let's see what they have next. Let's get out of here. It's so cute. I love the moment where you like open the curtain and kind of sneak out. <laughs> it feels like an adventure. They also get you like these slippers to wear. And below the cabin, there is a uh, space for your luggage. It's kind of dark as you can see it. And um, my makeup bag. Oh, and there is also a bar and the restaurant and they have like really cool brekkie there which I'll show you later but I'm gonna show you a um, little bit of what the laundry room looks like Ta it's super spacey and nice hello love how they use like these kind of book pages and stamps is so artistic fortunately there's also hair dryers not too many animators like and I have just a little like hair brushes or toothbrushes but you can get them at local convenience stores easily in Japan the hair brushes can match and cut that kind of stuff you know like these mini bottles they're really easy to get in Japan, especially in Tokyo, um, where this hotel is located, so that shouldn't be a problem. There's books like the cutest breads in the world, but there's also books like these here. Introducing Mitro, Japanese culture singers. culture of course there is also an English section which is pretty fun to look at where was it again this is like informative books about Japan also fun stuff like it's Jojo's <laughs> adventure is it the comic If you're a non-Japanese speaker and love books, I'm gonna have a blast here because there's so much informative books on like Japanese cooking as well. But not only books on 
like not only mangas or like Japanese related books but also just normal like Stephen King Haruki Murakami or just other popular authors So cool. Thank you, you the, didn't expect that to be here. It's almost like they have anything. It's like a magical library wonderland. Now I'm gonna get ready for the breakfast, um, which I can't wait for because it's really, it's really unique, and you'll soon see why. Da, 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 da. And this is what the breakfast looks like. Um, for some reason, this red is black, and this is the first time in my life I've ever seen black bread. Wonder what it tastes like. Hmm, it's really just like normal bread, except that it's black. Kind of choose something caramelly, and it looked black on the menu. Mm. It's super sweet, but that's right. What I need after waking up hungry: carbs, team carb. I like the, the black bread is it's like it's like a slice of toast but it's a little bit more dry and it doesn't have much sweetness so it goes really well with the balances out the sweetness of the latte Ooh, even the cutlery is black It's like cake. It's just kind of a goth cake, I guess. But it's sweet on the inside. 